Hey everybody, Rich Lavelle with the Vacaville Baseball Barn. And what I was demonstrating there was my stride. That's my tip, uh, excuse me, my personal stride right there. And I like to hit the ball just off the front part of the plate. What I'm going to discuss today is where to stand in the batter's box. And again, it always goes back to personal style before we start really talking about or critiquing the swing of a player when that front heel plants. So this is a personal style, but what I hear often, and especially in Little League through high school, is coaches telling their batters, move up in the box because it's a slow pitcher, or move back in the box because it's a fast pitcher. If you watch Major League Baseball players, everyone gets in the batter's box, regardless if this guy throws 78 or he throws 102, and they get in the same spot. The only time they change that position is that they know they're coming into a situation to where they're going to basically sacrifice bunt. The defense knows it, the hitter knows it, the pitcher knows it, everyone knows he's going to sacrifice bunt, but that's the play because they're trying to advance a runner. So that's the only time that we intentionally move up in front of the plate so that we put that ball down in a fair territory. Now, going back to my original topic is if I move back one time because this guy's throwing fast, well, what if he throws a changeup? I established a strike zone here with the umpire just because I moved back doesn't necessarily move that strike zone back with me. It goes across the plate as a strike, change up, now the ball's so low maybe I think I can't hit that. Or if I'm up here, what if he elects to go ahead and throw a fastball? Now I'm even closer. And there's something that's called perceived velocity that we see. Let's say this guy strides, he's five foot eight, but he strides six feet. Now that ball looks even faster to me because he's closer and now I'm closer to him. So my advice, my suggestion would be find a spot that you enjoy or like or make the best contact with that's somewhere around the front foot one to three inches. For me, it's one to three inches front of the plate because this is where I typically stride 99 out of 100 times. Is, is from the back corner of the plate just about to here unless I'm trying to put a little more oomph to it and then I, I short my stride up, or excuse me, I short my stance up, I'll move, I'll move my front foot back towards my back foot so that I'm able to get a little bit more of a weight shift. How's that? So essentially it boils down to this. Do I want to stand back here? If that's it, stand back here all the time. If I want to be way up in the front of the box, be there all the time. It maintains consistency in the stride zone, it maintains consistency in your eye level with the ball. And it also maintains some consistency with the umpire. Strikes a strike, a ball's a ball, as opposed to question. If you have any other questions, check out our other videos. Make sure to visit our Facebook page and like us there.